All right, today I'm going to attempt to uh, beat Mortal Kombat 3, the uh, the original Mortal Kombat 3, on the uh, Arcade 1-Up 30th Anniversary Edition. Uh, apparently the worst character in this game is Striker, according to a lot. So I'm going to try to beat it with Striker. However, I'm only going to do Novice because I am uh, admittedly not the greatest at this one. I'll try to get some tips and tricks during, though. And, uh, here we go. I have the, uh, the online capabilities turned off right now just so nobody joins in while I'm playing. Not that anybody will, because the uh, lobby in this game is, uh, usually empty 90% of the time. Friendship in this one, you can't use block in the winning round. Strikers friendship, low punch, low punch, run, run, low punch. Friendship, friendship, again. Uh, basically, the only thing I can say about this one is be aggressive. That's why the run button is there. Uh, definitely be more aggressive than defensive in this one. I'm going to let Shang Tsung win because I'm going to try to perform an animality. However, this is a pit fatality, so I guess I'll try this one. Pit fatality is forward up up high kick. Striker wins. Flawless victory. Fatality. Round one. Fight. Uh, the subway level is another pit fatality, but if they knock you up, or sorry, <laughs> knock you out of the screen, then uh, obviously you can't do the pit fatality in this round. Just like MK2, uh, the third opponent starts to get noticeably more difficult. I'll attempt an animality on her. Um, I'll, I'll let her win the round. I mean, you can sit there. That's the only thing about the AI in this one. They, uh, they don't do a lot, and when they do, start to go crazy on you, I find. <laughs> and again, it's only the uh, first few rounds. Alright, an animality has to be performed in the third round, and you must show your opponent mercy, which is hold run, hold run, and uh, push down four times, and then let go. Strikers, animality. I find them all pretty lousy in this, to be honest. All right, here we go. Three. I said the uh, computer starts to get a little crazy now. Very nice of Cabal to give me a free shot there. Now that move there is forward, forward, high kick. This grenade is a half circle back, low punch. Down 
down forward, down forward, block. Alright, we're doing okay. Four wins. Let's see if I can fight. See if I can kick this guy's butt. Actually has another kick onto that um, that combo, but I like uh, I like leaving out the kick. Wins. All right, definitely getting harder. And there's a loss. So if this was uh, back in 95, you better believe I'd be feeding quarters into this machine. So if anybody watching actually has some tips on uh, feeding the game, then uh, please let me know. sits there like they're not going to do anything and then you run up to them and they pull off a big combo on you so hyper they're even moving after they beat you Forward, 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 low kick. I find Cyrax is an easier character to beat the game with. Because anytime your opponent gets close, you just throw that net. Uh, the AI will almost always fall for it. However, I said I would attempt to beat it with Striker, so that's what I'm doing. It looks like anytime you run close to them and try to throw them in the later levels, they will throw you. There's another loss. Actually, one of the cooler fatalities, also. Fatality. All right, here we go. Striker again. I can take out uh, Motaro and Shang or Shao Kahn. I'm pretty confident in my ability to beat them. However, getting there is tougher sometimes. <laughs> I still haven't done his big ballad, so I will try that. Mind you, I can't block in this level to do it, so that might be tough. Not being able to block, that sucks. Alright. Down 4-1. 
forward, forward, or back, and high punch. I don't know. And they always uh, skip saying Bayvalidy when you're using striker at line. Based in Motaro, a bunch of jump kicks and combos, and that's it. He will grab you quite often. But basically, just yeah, jump kick and run up and perform combos. basically with Motaro. Jumping around a lot because he likes to jump a lot. And then after you hit him in the air, it lets you run up to him and perform a combo. Good thing about Shao Kahn in this one is he does his shoulder charge in the air. And that's easy to just duck under and uppercut. However, unfortunately with Shao Kahn, I find it's just a waiting game. And it's almost just a luck game if you're ducking quite often. Ducking in hopes that he shadowed shoulder charges above you. Let's see you can uppercut him. Anyways, there we go, we did it. I will have to uh, try master sometime, but uh, in the meantime, I mean using the worst character, that's not bad. I died a couple times. So my personal tips and tricks in this one I find is just um, be aggressive and uh, you know pull off combos and try to look for character patterns. With Motaro and Shao Kahn, they have definite patterns, whereas everybody else I haven't really found them found any patterns yet. There's a really cheap way to beat the game with smoke. Do that in another video. So, anyways, there you have it, Striker. Uh, to perform a Bayvalidy in friendship, you can't use block in the winning round to perform an animality. It's got to be the third round, and you have to show your opponent mercy. To do that, you do uh, full screen away, hold run, tap down four times, and then release run, and then you'll show them mercy, and then do your animality. Uh, I guess that is it. show the rest of the uh, credits for this. There's a little bit of an Easter egg at the end. I won't tell you what it is, but if you were around in 1995, it was pretty cool to see if you were able to beat the game in the arcade. On the 30th anniversary edition, my uh, online name is Bushy Stallion, so if you want to play me, you can see me on here. I'm usually on every night for a little bit, uh, by all means.
Baker's Easter egg. It's a preview for the movie. There you have it.